The following program is brought to you in fabulous color on Pansy Vision TV. Happy Pride Month and welcome to Pansy Vision. Dick has locked himself in the men's room and will not come out until we promise to show more films by Victor Mature. So until then, I am Felix Fishtwanger, the associate producer. Tonight's film, the evocatively titled The Serpent Rides in a Glass Coffin, is an Italian production that was filmed entirely in Possum Neck, Mississippi in 1980. The film had its regional release in the fall and winter of 1981 under various titles, including Blood Slash, Scream Your Head Off, and The Goodbye Girl Part Two. Thank you, Neil Simon, for making us laugh about love again. This type of violent Italian slasher was known as giallo, which is actually the Italian word for jello. And as we all know, jello goes with everything. Now let's take a look at that trailer. The bird flutters in a cage. The spirit awakens in a body. The serpent writhes in a glass coffin. Louis knew all the moves to drive the men crazy, but the men didn't know that Louis was the craziest one of all. The serpent writhes in a glass coffin. They tried to shock the devil out of him, but all they did was unleash the serpent. Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. Oh. Yeah, baby, just like that. Show daddy what you can do. This is obviously the work of a psycho-sexual killer. How do you know? Well, the body, it, it bears traces of, of carnal violence. Lewis was a good person until his parents gave him shock treatment. Why should we listen to you? Yeah, you're nothing but a $20 whore. Yes, I am. But that doesn't mean I'm not a good judge of character. You miserable pigs. Inside his damaged brain was a nightmare carnival where the price of admission was death. You have killed before, and you will kill again. I thought I was your friend! I see the future too, and you're not in it. The serpent writhes in a glass coffin. Dr. Lang, in your professional opinion, what do you think the motive of the killer is? The killer obviously has a deep-rooted pathological hatred for the people who, in his labyrinthian mind, turned him into a cold-blooded murderer. Cold-blooded like a snake. Yes, we must never forget the Jungian symbolism of the snake. Baby, that's a crock of shit. But it wasn't a crock of shit. He fed on men who were hiding from the judgmental eyes of others living not in a glass coffin, but in a glass closet. But they could not hide from him. Baby, I'll never tell the police about you. As long as you keep letting me watch. A city in crisis. We keep finding pieces of the body, but we never find the rest. But what is he doing with the rest of them? I got the mayor making more noise than a dozen king crabs fucking in an oil drum. So you two lug nuts are gonna find that killer. Or it's your badges on the line! Please! 
I, I, I beg of you, don't. Don't worry. This won't hurt me a bit. Night after night, he sheds his skin, looking for a new victim to satisfy his unquenchable desire for blood. I like your tattoo. Can I have it? Now you'll be with me forever. The serpent writhes in a glass coffin. Never stick your dick in crazy. Coming soon to a theater near you. Does something ever turn you on so much, but you can't quite put your finger on why? I'm sorry, I know that's TMI, but wow. That lead actor, Thomas Newberry, he just, I don't know, but he, carbonates my hormones like an overshook can of Dr. Pepper. Anyway, uh, let, let's move on to an exclusive interview with the uh, husband and wife writer and director team who brought you The Serpent Rides in a Glass Coffin. This was filmed at their condo in Belzadir, Italy in 1993. So where did you get the inspiration for Serpent? My God. Uh, come again? My car, she a die, huh? I need the money to fix. She means the way you get an idea for a movie, you idiot. My idea is the money, you cow. Uh, Test the cazzo, please disregard. He is a buffoon. Idea come from me, like all ideas. When I ride, the bloody snare leaves a crimson trail. I focus on the beauty of that. The savage glory of the blade. Of course, I also get a paper cut and a pass out, but uh, such is the duality of art. You have never had an idea in your life, <laughs> except uh, maybe how to spend my money. Uh, anyway, so when I write a serpent, I think about a horror and a sadness. And then an American studio offers to make it in Hollywood with American actors. <laughs> they, uh, they promised me more money than I ever seen in my life. Mm. And so we go to America and we make it a movie. Oh, but we are simple heterosexual married couple living in an Italian village. Uh, most of the homosexuals are in Milan. And the Vatican. Yeah. And so we do not have much experience with the gay people and the gay life. So we try, but we do not succeed. The movie is a disappointment. And then we are bad to return to our Italy by the government. And the Vatican. And, and after many years, the Hollywood, they come to us. They say, uh, here is the money. Go make for us the movie. And so I write a screenplay based on an old Italian folktale. The ass that lay the money. <laughs> Your life a story. And so we make it a movie. But it does not do very well. Nobody. And when I say nobody, I mean nobody show up. Perhaps an accounting error is why the movie, he make a seven cents. Uh, perhaps uh, for a directing error, the movie made a no sense. So are there any thoughts you'd like to leave us with? Yes. Never marry a writer. Never marry a director. Well, if that's not love, then I don't know what is. Mostly because I don't speak street rat crazy. Well, until next time, thank you for watching Pansy Vision. And don't forget to subscribe and smash that notification bell. Until then, I'm Felix Fishtwanger, wishing you and yours a joyous Pride Month. Stay fabulous! Yes, and that. This is a test of the hetero emergency broadcast system. For the next 10 seconds, this station will conduct a test of the hetero emergency broadcast system. This is only a test. This is a test of the hetero broadcast stations in your area. If this had been an actual hetero emergency, including feeling the urge to watch sports ball or wearing socks with sandals, 
you would have heard official information, news, or instructions. This concludes this test of the Hetero Emergency Broadcast System. Thank you.